Item number SCP-2211 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2211-1, Dash 2, and Dash 3 are kept on separate thumb drives in a standard small item containment locker. Due to space constraints, SCP-2211-4 is currently kept in a separate small item standard containment locker. Permission for testing SCP-2211-1 through Dash 4 can be obtained from the Digital Anomalies Department by any relevant Level 3 personnel and above. As of September 10, 2014, SCP-2211 has been designated as uncontained. Site resources will be dedicated towards discerning the true nature of SCP-2211, as well as re-establishing containment. SCP-2211 was a collection of four related anomalies, first discovered in the offices of Hewlett Packard in Shanghai. SCP-2211-1 is a 932-meg video file titled LongSmile.WMV. When played, it shows a pair of smiling lips at the right edge of the screen, which open to reveal teeth. The camera then pans right throughout the rest of the video, continuously revealing more teeth. Though SCP-2211-1 is listed as being 55 seconds long, it will continue playing for more than 150 hours, the upper limit determined before testing was halted. SCP-2211-1 lacks an audio track. Playing SCP-2211-1 for more than 59 minutes and 20 seconds results in the device used to play SCP-2211-1 secreting a small amount, 5 to 10 milliliters a minute, of what has been determined to be human saliva. DNA testing has returned no positive matches with any known individual on record so far. SCP-2211-2 is a 2 megabyte audio file titled I-79.Wave. Its contents vary with each playthrough, but generally consist of modulated static that cuts off occasionally every 2-10 seconds for approximately 0.3 seconds. Like SCP-2211-1, SCP-2211-2 plays for more than 150 hours, despite being listed as 3 minutes and 3 seconds long. Minor fluctuations of the static are detected at an approximate rate of 3 per second. This rate increases to 5 per second when SCP-2211-2 is played on a device with an attached camera. Playing SCP-2211-2 on a device for more than 59 minutes and 20 seconds results in the device secreting a clear fluid at a rate of 20 milliliters a minute, identified as a mixture of water and sodium chloride, with trace amounts of amino acids, glucathion, ascorbic acid, and human collagen fibers. SCP-2211-3 is a 599 kilobyte executable titled EAR.EXE. When run on a computer, SCP-2211-3 uses a significant amount of memory, resulting in overheating and causing the built-in fans of the affected computer to speed up. Despite the damage caused by overheating, the affected computer will continue to run until it is forcibly disconnected from its power source. When run for more than 59 minutes and 20 seconds, air processed through the built-in fans of the affected computer begins to smell strongly of earwax. However, no traces of biological matter have been found in the processed air. The smell is undetectable below 100 parts per million, and this effect is absent when SCP-2211-3 is run on a computer without a fan-operated cooling system. While SCP-2211-1 through Dash 3 can be moved from one file directory to another without affecting their properties, copies of SCP-2211-1 through Dash 3 lack anomalous effects. Copies of SCP-2211-1 will result in the video ending at the expected time. Copies of SCP-2211-2 consist entirely of unmodulated static ending at the expected time, and copies of SCP-2211-3 invariably fail to run. SCP-2211-4 is a coffee reheater powered by a USB adapter. When SCP-2211-4 is plugged into a USB port of a computer, any liquid placed in its container will be heated to about 65 degrees Celsius, while also being transmuted into mucus at an average rate of 1 milliliter per minute, regardless of whether said computer is powered on or not. Occasionally, SCP-2211-4 will produce strands of human nose hair. DNA analysis reveals a match with the saliva produced by SCP-2211-1. Addendum SCP-2211-01 Transcript of Surveillance Log 
2014-1006-B2-A4, 0320 hours to 0401 hours. Begin log. Sound of banging metal detected near second floor of wing B. Door of small item containment locker DAD-2838 is heavily deformed outwards and has experienced a heavy impact from its inside. The sound of banging metal persists for the next three minutes as the door of containment locker DAD-2838 begins to burst outwards. Security teams are deployed to cordon off the area and manage the situation. Containment locker DAD-2838 is fully breached from the inside when a segmented humanoid arm emerges, extending to reveal numerous joints along its length. Security teams begin opening fire on the arm to little effect. While the video feed shows that the arm terminates in a seven-fingered hand, personnel present on the scene reported a number of fingers ranging from five to approximately thirty. The arm repeatedly strikes and breaches a containment locker containing SCP-2211-4, approximately five meters from containment locker DAD-2838. It subsequently reaches for SCP-2211-4 and pulls it back into containment locker DAD-2838. No further activity detected. Arm presumed to have been dematerialized. End log. Upon examination of containment locker DAD-2838, no traces of the arm were discovered. Examination of containment locker DAD-2838 revealed that SCP-2211-1, Dash 2, and Dash 3 had been erased from their respective storage media. Furthermore, SCP-2211-4 ceased to exhibit any anomalous behavior whatsoever. In light of this, SCP-2211 was tentatively declared uncontained on August 10, 2014 by head researcher Min. Addendum SCP-2211-02 Untitled text file found on SCP-2211-1's USB drive five days after the events of June 10, 2014. Got my my nose.